oak and fruit. Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet and today we have a home match and it's a German whiskey. It's the JBG whiskey and it's the Münsterländer whiskey limited edition. I'll show it to you here. Um, JBG stands for uh, Johannes um, Bernhard Goiting which was uh, a person, a German person, uh, back I think in Prussia it was, um, he had a distillery and um, actually his distillery was not founded by himself but by Johannes Andreas Goiting, I think maybe his father or grandfather, in 1837. But he, I think maybe he renamed it or back in the day it was just a shed with a distill, uh, distillation apparatus in the back and so he uh, renamed it. Today it's actually Magnus Goiting, so the descendant, I think maybe grand, 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 grandson, I don't know. And he, he still um, has the distillery and he continues to produce and he actually modernized it. And he now brought out whiskey over the last uh, few uh, years. And this here is a four year old expression and it is limited for the German market and limited to 1,142 bottles. And it actually, um, it's not like an age statement where they say four years, but it is a, a vintage bottle. It has all the, the vintage stuff here. There you can see it, or oh, maybe you can't focus. And uh, it's a vintage bottle. It was distilled 2011 and bottled 2016. And because it was distilled in December and bottled in uh, March, it's only four years. And it's a marriage of casks. If you want to have 1,100 uh, 1, bottles, then you need more than one cask. And they actually use uh, virgin oak for years. And they have three casks. Uh, it's cask, they say it's cask number 40, which is a single malt. Then we have cask number 49, which is a single grain. And cask number 50, which is a mixture of single malt and single grain. So, um, they are not always used to make whiskey. So, um, are these like the southern German fruit distillers? No, they are not. Um, they used to distill corn. And for all the Americans, corn in German mean, doesn't mean uh, the, the corn you grow. It actually means grain. So, it's a... Uh, a grain distillery and they make corn, doppelkorn, all the kind of, um, I think corn anise, which is uh, anise and anise with, uh, with grain. And the German corn is corn is like, like whiskey, but um, we often use buckwheat. I don't know if anybody knows what buckwheat is because uh, it's not a very common grain type or wheat type. So yeah, enough said. It's a traditional German, old German uh, distillery. And they now do uh, whiskey. So um, nice tube. And then you have uh, some something that tells you the story of the whiskey and how they do it and what's inside it. And actually for a German limited edition, I have an English translation on the back, so hmm, I don't know. German limited edition with an English translation. There are not very many English speakers in the in Germany. There's a there are subcultures in the in the big cities, but if you go on the countryside, don't expect them to speak English or poor English. They speak a bit of poor English. I'm not sure if this is a. Uh, looks like a, a normal cork, but it's surprisingly light, so mm, maybe a bit of plastic in there. So let's, let's have a look. Ooh. 
Malt, cacao, but a bitter note, so I would say coffee. Which is a bit, bit strange because I, I got the, the official tasting notes and they said oak and fruit. Multi oat and oak and fruits. I get the multi one, definitely. Definitely multi. Mocha. It's, it's for me it's it's definitely a, a mixture of cacao and, and coffee and malt. There is a a malt substitute for uh, coffee, I think, in Germany. Back in the days when when there was war, when there were war, and they ran out of coffee, and they just used that. Never tasted it. Mm. Oh, that is great! It has a a gloomy, spicy spiciness, yeah. say nutmeg a bit of an oaky note but also for me it's a a mixture of coffee and, and cacao and malt mm, very untypical for, for whiskey didn't have that with many whiskies yet mm. Surprisingly unsweet. Surprisingly unsweet because they use um, fresh American white oak. You have a bit of bitterness from cacao, from the, this cacao remembrance and this uh, remembrance of coffee. Um, usually you would expect to get more of a uh, caramel and vanilla flavor from the from the, the fresh wood. 43% alcohol. Huh? Transports a lot of flavor. There's a lot of flavor in there. Um, a few spices I can't quite um, divide from each other yet. So um, definitely a good one. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't tell you that you could get it anywhere else. And the German viewership on this channel actually declined to about zero now. So um, all my viewers out there, you will probably not get it unless you have a friend in Germany. So um, if you'd like to know more about uh, JBG, um, then please visit whiskey.com. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>